In this video, you'll learn how to manage approvals as an approval administrator. There are three types of approval administrators, each with different permissions. Your organization's primary administrators can manage approval and designate other members as app administrators. App administrators can designate sub-administrators. App administrators and sub-administrators can pick process administrators. There are two ways to enter the approval admin console. You can enter from LARC by navigating to the approval app and clicking admin console. You can go to the LARC admin console, click workplace, then app management. Next, find approval and click go to app admin console. In approval admin, you can create and edit rules for various approvals including their forms and processes. In data management, you can view information about approvals, including data about administrator interventions. You can also handle approval handovers when a member leaves the organization. In recommended configuration, you can customize the layout of approvals in the app to make it convenient for requesters to find the right approval for their scenario. In Permissions Management, you can view the organization's app administrators or add approval sub-administrators. Now you're familiar with the app's layout, let's learn how to create and edit approvals. Click Create Approval. You can choose to modify a template, create a custom approval from scratch, or integrate a third-party approval. Next, fill in the approval's basic information. You must give it a name and add it to a group. Optionally, you can change its icon, decide who can submit this approval or designate a process administrator. In this step, you can choose or modify the content of the approval form that members will need to fill in when they submit an approval. You can click or drag the widgets in widget groups to add them to the form. Click on a widget, and a settings panel will pop up on the right, where you can configure detailed settings. Next, it's time to design the approval process. You can set the approver, approval method, and other rules. You can also click the plus sign to add approvers, as well as people to be CC'd, handlers, or conditional branches. Finally, you can set extra rules, such as whether to allow requesters to undo or modify their requests after they've sent them, or whether to allow approvers to process requests in batches. After setting up, click Preview to check the approval. If everything is correct, click Publish, and the approval will be ready to use. You can still edit or modify the approval at any time. That's the basics of managing approval. You're now ready to get started managing this crucial process.